late evening. Pakistan president decides to extend an olive branch to India, this time by commuting the death sentence of the prime accused in the 1990 Lahore blast Sarajit Singh to life. On this side of the fence, UPA's presidential candidate, Finance Minister Pranam Mukherjee, sees his last day in the post he served faithfully for quite some time now. Closer home, superstar Rajnikanth saves his bumper treat for later in a goodwill gesture to Bollywood stars. Stay tuned to Headlines Now with me, Linda Hercules, to get the details of all that and more during the next half an hour. Let me take you through the top headlines first. Pakistan President Zardari pardons Indian prisoner Sarajit Singh commuting his death sentence to life. UPS presidential candidate Pranam Mukherjee resigns as finance minister ahead of polls on the 19th of July. And his rival and tribal candidate PA Sangma Sikh support of Trinamool Congress Chief Mamta Banerjee remains hopeful. Union Minister Vidarbha Singh resigns from cabinet over anti-graft charges thrown on him. Farmers in Erode condemn Kerala government for trying to build a check dam across Sirwani, ask centre to intervene. Superstar Rajani Khan not to clash with Bollywood biggies, keeps his coterie and release for later. And it's Arjun Tendulkar stepping into his father's shoes in the probable list of Mumbai's under-14 team. News in detail. Sarajit Singh, the Indian prisoner who has been in Pakistani jail for the last 20 years, is likely to be released soon. According to Pakistan television reports, Pakistan President Asif Ali Zardari has converted Indian prison, uh, prisoner Sarajit Singh's death sentence to life imprisonment. Sarajit Singh, imprisoned since 1990, was given the death sentence under the Army Act for his alleged involvement in four bomb blasts that killed 14 people. Pranam Mukherjee today met Prime Minister Manmohan Singh at his seven racecourse road residence and resigned as India's Finance Minister. Sources have said that Dr. Singh is expected to take additional charge of the crucial Finance Ministry. Mr. Mukherjee, the ruling UPA's candidate for next month's presidential elections, made a poignant farewell statement at his North Block office before meeting the Prime Minister. Today, I stand ready to embark on a new journey. I feel honoured and humble on my nomination as a candidate to contest the presidential election by UPA 2 standing on the brink of such an honour. I also feel a tinge of sentiment at the thought of leaving behind my life as a political activist spanning over four decades. I will miss my colleagues in the Ministry of Finance and I will also miss not being stopped by all of you who are assembled here. The buzz in government circles right now is who will take on the most difficult job of all, that is the Finance Minister. Sources indicate that the Prime Minister will keep the finance portfolio for now. With his image as an economist and track record as the architect of reforms, Manmohan Singh taking charge of the finance ministry when India is at a crucial economic stage will send out a strong signal to the global community. In his bid to rally support among political parties for his contest against Finance Minister Pranam Mukherjee, the residential hopeful PA Sangma met West Bengal Chief Minister and Trinamool Congress Chief Mamta Banerjee. It was a happy Sangma who returned from the meeting, stating the same. He also added that the meeting has given him hopes that Mamta Di would back him. Trinamool leader Mukul Roy said that his party will discuss the issue and take a decision at the right time. Today, I have come to Kolkata to meet the Honourable Chief Minister of West Bengal, Madam Mamata Banerjee, and other leaders like Nukul Roy here, our Army Minister, Subodha Bhatshi, and I have come here to request for the support of my candidature in the coming presidential election. Mr. P.A. Sangma 
the presidential candidate. Today he came to the Writers Building, West Bengal, to meet the Honorable Chief Minister as well as the Chairperson of the All India Trinamool Congress Committee to seeking his support for the presidential election. Party will sit, party will discuss, and then we will intimate the decision of our party later on. Moving on, Union Minister Veer Badra Singh has resigned from his cabinet. His resignation has been accepted and forwarded to the president. A Himachal Pradesh court had framed charges of corruption against him and his wife, former MP Pratibha Singh, yesterday. Mr. Singh, the Union Minister for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises, has denied the charges but stated that he has quit uh, as he did not want to embarrass his party, the Prime Minister and government. He has trained his gun straight at the BJP's PK Dumal, the present Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh, accusing him of concocting cases against him every time he has been in power. तो ये उनका स्वाभिवेक का निर्णय है, लेकिन अभी जो उनके खिलाफ एक केस प्रस्तुत हुआ है, उस केस में केवल चार्ज फ्रेम हुआ है, कोई ट्रायल, कोई अभी ट्रायल नहीं कंप्लीट हुआ, अभी कोई कोई कोर्ट का डिसीजन नहीं है, इसलिए मैं समझता हूँ कि अभी उन्हें इस्तीफा देने की कोई आवश्यकता नहीं भी थी। मेरा साफ कहना है कि जनदबा और सब लोगों के मांग करने के पश्चात बाध्य होकर मजबूर होकर इनको आज त्याग पद देना पड़ रहा है अब तो उनको अपनी घोषणा के अनुसार राजनीति से सन्यास लेना चाहिए क्योंकि केवल वीरभद्र प्रताप सिंह ही नहीं है इनकी पत्नी भी है पद पत्नी दोनों ही आरोप में लिप्त है और जद्यप की कांग्रेस के राष्ट्रीय महासचिव ये कह रहे हैं कि अभी तो आरोप लगा है साबित नहीं हुआ है ये जो टेक्निकल सारी बातों पर कांग्रेस ले जाना चाहती है ये तो यूपीए में बने हुए लोग इस बात के आदती हो गए हैं कि भ्रष्टतम होने के पश्चात भी बार बार इस बात को कहने में संकोच नहीं करते हैं कि अभी तो ये साबित नहीं हुआ है वीरभद्र सिंह जी के मामले में तेईस साल लग गए तेईस साल पुराना मामला है तेईस साल बाद तो ये जाके अभी आरोप तय हुए हैं इसलिए हम लोग ये मांग कर रहे थे कि जन लोकपाल भी लाना चाहिए एक मंत्री के खिलाफ तो ये साबित हो गया कि हमारे सबूत पुख्ता हैं। अगर स्पेशल जांच दल बिठाया जाए स्वतंत्र और निष्पक्ष स्पेशल जांच दल बिठाया जाए तो हमें पूरा का पूरा पूरा यकीन है कि इन पंद्रह के पंद्रह मंत्रियों को सख्त सजा भुगतनी पड़ेगी a closer look at the state, the Tamil Nadu Farmers Association has slammed the Kerala government's move to build a check dam across the river Sirwani. It has asked the Tamil Nadu government to impose an economic ban on Kerala. In connection to the Farmers' Day rally ahead of the 5th July meeting, the association held an emergency meeting headed by the association's state head, S. H. Chinnaswamy. The meeting, which was attended by a host of farmers, deeply condemned Kerala's efforts to build check dams across Sirwani, Bhavani and Amravati. It also urged the central government to intervene and arrive at an amicable solution. In Thodarandu, it is a very difficult time to do this in the United States. Kerala itu cakap kuli ya, unau pura kali, kai kiri, unau pal pon dah unau pura kali, matram katet up, katuman apa ni kalau cakap kuli manal jali pon dah beri, tarik tu nanti tu kuli ya, orang pora datang, beri beri nanti tu orang minat terbit tu kalau kandre. Tamil Nadu fishermen have been attacked yet again by the Lankan Navy at Kachatheva. Lankan fishermen who arrived in around 10 boats are said to have attacked around 2,500 fishermen from more than 700 boats and also cut their nets. The fishermen have asked the central government to intervene in this and come up with an appropriate solution as these crimes, they alleged, happening on a regular basis was affecting their livelihood. I have come to the 
அருவா கம்போட வந்து அந்த மீனூர்ல போற தாக்கி அடிச்சு விரட்டி விட்டுருக்காங்க இத வந்து வன்மையா நாங்க கண்டிக்கிறோம் இது தொடர்ச்சியா நடக்கிற ஒரு சம்பவமா இருக்கு ஆகையினால மத்திய அரசாங்கம் இந்த விஷயத்துல உடனடியா தலையிட்டு இனி வரும் காலங்களிலேயாவது இந்த மீனை வந்து நிம்மதியாக மீன் பிடிக்கிறதுக்கு உடனடியாக அந்த இலங்கை அரசை நிர்பந்தப்படுத்தி அந்த மீன் பிடிக்கிற உரிமையை இவங்களுக்கு பெற்றுத்தரணும்